In this video tutorial, you will learn how to join Zoom meeting through the web browser or a Zoom app using your laptop or desktop computer. When a host of the meeting, a person who starts the meeting, wants to invite you to join Zoom meeting, they normally send you an email or an invitation. Invitation normally contains link to join the meeting and meeting ID. To join the meeting through the web link, simply copy the link and paste it into your web browser. If you have a Zoom application installed on your computer, Zoom will ask you if you want to use Zoom app to join the meeting. If you don't have Zoom app, this window will not appear because I have an app, this window uh, appears. Let's assume that I don't have an app and I'd like to join through the web browser. Click here and then click on join from browser. Once you've done that, Zoom will ask you for your name, which will appear on the conference participants sheet. Once I've done that, I'm gonna click join and join the meeting. Next thing you need to do is, is click join audio by computer. That's it, you've just joined the Zoom meeting through the web browser. There's still a couple of things you need to do to make sure that you can fully participate. As you see, there's a still problem with my microphone. Uh, to fix that, uh, open preferences and then allow Google Chrome to use the microphone. The settings might look a little bit different if you're using a Windows computer, but the idea is still the same. You need to allow your browser to use microphone and video camera. Go to your camera and allow Google Chrome or whatever browser you use to use your camera. And now you can see that I've joined the microphone and there's an echo on the host. This is what happens when you don't mute yourself. Do you see this echo? That's because I'm hosting from my phone and when two participants are close to each other, echo appears. So make sure that when you are close to someone else who's using Zoom app, you click mute button right here. To fully participate in the meeting, uh, you might wanna start a video. Now my video appeared here and whoever is participating can see me. If you wanna stop the video, stop it right here. If you wanna, if you wanna participate and talk, click unmute. I'm not gonna do that because the host on my phone is next to me and that will create an echo, but if you were to participate, this is where you will click. Uh, sometimes uh, a host will be the only one uh, who will be able to unmute you, so you won't be able to unmute yourself unless the host does that. There's still a couple of things you can do. If you click on participants list, you will see all the participants uh, listed here. You can raise your hand to signal that you have a question to the host of the meeting, and then the host might unmute you, and then you will be able to speak. Another thing you can do, you can open chat. If chat option is available for the participants, you can start communicating through the chat. Uh, you can send message to everyone, or by clicking on everyone, you can select and message a person individually. And that's about it you can do as a participant when you participate through the web browser. To end the meeting, click leave meeting. And that's it, that's how you join Zoom meeting through the web browser. We're gonna try and do the same, but this time we're gonna be using a Zoom app. If you've never used Zoom app before, I will share the link in the description to this video clip. Once you go to this link, make sure you download the Zoom client for meetings, install it on your device, and when it's time to join the meeting, instead of copying the link, you will open Zoom app. I'm using Mac computer. If you're using Windows, it will look a little bit different, but the idea is still the same. Now, instead of using my web browser, I'm gonna be using a Zoom app to join the meeting. As you can see, I have a couple of options. I can sign in if you have an account or you can, I can just join a meeting. It's up to you whether you wanna sign in first and then join the meeting or you just wanna join a meeting without having an account. For this video, I'm just gonna click join a meeting and I have two options here. I can either use meeting ID, this one right here that you should have received from the host, or you can use personal link name, which again, you should have received from the host. We've used personal link before when we joined for the browser. Now this time, let's try and use meeting ID. I'm just gonna click copy and paste my name. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use John. You might wanna unclick this button as well. Once you've clicked join, a Zoom app will take you through the login process. Click join with computer audio. Again, you start hearing the echo because the host is right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click mute myself. And uh, as you see, the user interface is very similar 
to what we had on the browser. We still have options to unmute ourselves, I'll start a video, uh, we have a participants list, we can share our screen as well if participants ask us to do that. Uh, there are a couple of things we can do, we can use whiteboard, and if I click share the whiteboard, this is a feature where all participants can see what I'm drawing. It might be helpful if you are having a lesson or a conference. If you want to stop sharing your screen, click stop share. Again, the chat option is there. You can either chat with uh, someone else or um, message everybody at the same time. Uh, you can also record the session, and again, if host will enable you. If you want to leave the meeting before it's finished, click leave meeting. And that's it. Today you've learned how to join Zoom meeting through the web browser or through the Zoom app using your laptop or desktop computer. In the next video tutorial, we'll see how to use Zoom meeting using your phone. Until the next time, bye-bye.